Hey guys, this video is super important. We're gonna be going over how to make a product page that converts. Basically, Colin's gonna be showing you how to make a page where it looks really authentic and it looks like a real proper site where people would actually trust you and be willing to take out their credit card and spend money on your site. So that's what we'll be going over and it's a super important video. So when I was telling you that we're going through literally everything when it comes to Instagram dropshipping, taking us from A to Z, I really meant it. So this is how to create the best product page. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I want to show you how to upload products into your store and how to create your product descriptions so that you have a nice, clean, sleek, looking landing page. And this is really essential because when you are driving traffic to your store, the first thing they will likely go to is your product page, right? If it's not your products page, then it's, you know, your, your either your store page or your collections page. And eventually, no matter what, right, part of the sales process, they're landing onto your product page. And at that point, that's usually where they make the decision whether they want to buy or whether they don't and you know some part of the reason is pricing and the other part of the reason is you know the quality of your product page and so what does a good product page consist of right what is going to allow you to convert at a higher rate one is going to be the apps that we talked about in another video in this course right the apps making sure you have um, upsells related products um, timers right you want to make sure you have that right a good way a good thing to do is to actually go on to amazon and look at what their product pages look like right look at what do they have right whether it's the like i said the related products tab good product reviews um the 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 um trust badge which we're going to talk about good pictures right so think about from a buyer's perspective right from a buyer's perspective ask yourself what would make you want to buy the product right for me it's going to be good product reviews good product images and a nice description or video that explains what this product does so i'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that right now so we're going to we're going to go ahead and upload this um blackhead remover um so you, you if you remember the product research video, this was on it. So I found this from Dropship Spy. And we're gonna do this the manual, the, the normal way, and not through Dropship Spy, just because I wanna show you how to normally do it. Because likely you won't, you know, upload all your products from Dropship Spy, right? Um, so we're gonna find the supplier right here. So if you don't have the supplier, obviously you would just look up, you know, basically um, blackhead remover vacuum onto uh, AliExpress. Um, but we're just gonna save time. It's um, all right. So seventeen thousand orders. This is a crazy product. Okay. Cool. And next, we are going to let's see. We're gonna uh, upload this. So um, we have Oberlo installed. So make sure you get the Oberlo extension. So go ahead and um, you know if you if you don't have it, type in Oberlo Chrome extension, and just go ahead and download this extension right here I already have it um, here and so yeah that's that's where you would go so all right so all you would do is you you would click on this Chrome extension add to import list Alright, so for some strange reason, this is not available for Oberlo. Um, the other option that's more expensive is Dropify. Um, but since uh, I know probably many of you are on a budget, we're going to skip that. So let's go Blackhead, Remover, Vacuum. Sort by orders. going on here 
Uh, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Let's just... So you can, you don't even have to go to the page. You can just add it through here. All right, so this one was imported successfully. Now we open import list. So in overload, you can see these are all your managed products. So here's, here's how we're going to do the product title, right? There's two ways. You can just do it simply like blackhead remover um, vacuum. Sometimes I like to just put like a little trademark title. It's really up to you. Uh, it makes it sound more legit. So sometimes you can name it something cool like, mm, what's a cool skin name? Like, uh, you can say like deluxe. Deluxify or some like that. Like, um, Deluxify sounds cool, or it, it could just be deluxe, right? So, for example, um, you could do like I feel like trademark. Um, the reason why the reason why um, I say do a trademark, which I'm going to show you right now. The reason why they do a trademark is because it, it makes you stand out. So, like. to the rules of this um, but I think it should be okay so the reason why I like to do this sometimes is because like people think that you're you're unique right because there's so many competitors out there if you have like the, the just a simple trademark on your title it makes you sound more legit and not just some like random company because with drop shipping companies one issue is that um, you look like not a trustworthy brand but if you have a trademark it makes you a lot more trustworthy you're you're likely to convert you know so let's just you know deluxe sounds pretty cool so deluxe blackhead remover vacuum and collections if you had collections you know put a collection like a like a skincare collection or an instagram collection tag uh you know skincare or whatever but right now we're gonna leave that open description what I would do is I would just basically remove all of this. This is just, this looks way too spammy. I'm going to go back to, to Dropships Buy. I'm going to copy this. You might want to change some of the wording here, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to kind of leave it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go search for Google. Mm. Let's look at the, um, I basically want to see how their product page looks like, which is why I'm, I'm trying to figure out where it is on here. Um, right here. So look at look at how they did it, right? I want you guys to take a look at their page because even them, like they said be trademark, right? deep cleaner right so it doesn't sound so it doesn't sound so like it sounds more trustworthy it just sounds cooler than if you were to just say blackhead remover so most people skip the skip step and they don't really try to make the title sound cool but i'm telling you that it really makes a difference right it's just the psychology like people think it's more high quality if you do that 
So that's why they're able to charge higher prices. When you make your page look, the more high quality you make your page, the, the more you're able to charge higher prices because it, they, you look legit, right? And customers want to pay a premium. They're willing to pay a premium if, you're, if your site looks legit. So um, obviously they have a brand, so they can just call all of their products Beautified Glow vacuum or all of, they can name all their products beautified glow right so personally i'm going to use these images instead of um the aliexpress images because I, I just think it's better so all right so it seems like we can't um Bear with me. I'm gonna look up the um, the controls for screenshotting. Uh, Shift Command Four. All right, so. Shift command. I haven't used the Mac in a little bit, so that's why you're wondering why don't I know how to screenshot. All right, so shift command four, wait. Hold on, I'm gonna hide my face for a sec. Wait, how do I, uh, right here. All right, so that way I can screenshot these images. All right, so we're taking these images. Um, if if you see that you know there's certain images with that are like totally copyrighted, maybe you want to stay away from those, right? But like these images, these images are are totally fine. You know, these are just normal types of images. But if you see like you know there's like a, a customer with it or something like that, then maybe you wouldn't want to take those images. So, just a slight caveat, right? What's going on? There we go. All right, so, boom. Four. So now we got the images. Um, let's go to the images here. So I would personally remove these. Look at like these images just don't look friendly, right? Like they don't look, they, they look like, this looks like something from a doctor's office, honestly. Like it doesn't look that appealing. So let's not import any of these. So we got our pictures. Um, I want to upgrade some of our description a little bit. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and look at, I'm not going to copy their description. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of model some of their descriptions. So, so them, they basically say, what are blackheads? Blackheads are, um, um, the deluxe blackhead vacuum. So we're gonna copy uh, description. We're gonna put um, right the deluxe blackhead vacuum is a multi-function, and then well, I just want to edit some of the um, product description. So so you see how they they. Um, 
they bold these words, so I like how they did that. So we're going to bold them as well. So what I suggest is this: the product ad creative that you use, and we'll sh and you can kind of do it yourself. I'm not going to go ahead and um, let me put my screen back on. So I'm putting my screen back, sorry for the delay there. So you see that um, I would put the benefits right here. So actually, I'm not going to go ahead and do this, but you get the idea. So I would model their their um, their product page, right? I would model it. So it's you don't need to copy them word for word, right? Because if you copy big brands, you might get in trouble. But if you're copying smaller brands, you are able to get get away with it. But I want you to model what they're doing. So what are they doing, right? You basically want to look at what they're doing well on their product page. They say, what are blackheads? So they, they, they call out the pain point, right? The pain point is blackheads. Then they show you how, to, how do you solve this pain point by, by telling you what the product does, right? And then they show you, you know, what are the differences? And then what they show you is obviously more benefits. This is crucial. I pretty much have all of this in my product pages, all benefits, usually like a bold word. And then with like this type of sentences, the more product pages you look at, you'll see more of this. And then um, the how to use. So this, you can probably get it off AliExpress maybe. So if AliExpress has, a, has something just wanted to see if they have something. It's a little bit of a tedious process, but I believe that it, you really want to make your product page good, right? So anything you can take off AliExpress, I do suggest doing that. So this package includes, so you can put this in there because this is really essential right here. You want to make sure you include, you know, tell the customer what the package includes. And, um, you know, you can take some of these images and put it on your product description. Um, so it doesn't look like they show you how to use it, maybe. Yeah, it seems like it doesn't. So you might have to just, you know, copy it from that page. So I'm not going to, you know, through the time but basically like I said you know you you want to basically put in you, you basically want to put in there the the benefits the problem so this is the solution right here so you have the solution I would I would you know add in like you know uh, what are blackheads and then you can even do some research you can be like you know 95% of Americans or 95% of um, you know humans uh, have blackheads um, on a frequent basis or, or every every few times a year, right? And and very few people know how to solve it. Um, are you someone that uses, you know, um, these old outdated products? If so, um, we understand your struggle because, you know, they're proven to not, not only not work, but make your, make your skin even worse, right? So, Make sure that you say something like that because that's going to make your product page really good, right? So I'm just going to make it up. 90% of, um, of people can have. And just say what blackheads are, right? You know, just say what blackheads are. 90% people, what are blackheads? You know, we can just use that description on the other. Let's just use. It's fine to use parts of it. You just don't want to use like the whole thing. So, all right, I apologize if it's slow here. Skin revitalized, like that's a really, like this, this line is really good, right? I really love this line right here. Um, right here, so we can take that flag. Blackheads are 
all hair, all clothes that contain oils, or residue when left untreated, treated, they grow and mix and getting bigger and bigger on the skin. Causing a really causing a nasty us to build up inside. The best marketers will do research, right? So if you have the time, I do recommend doing research. Uh, I'm just gonna update this residue untreated. Then um, boom. all right. So and then ninety five percent people tend to have blackheads um, multiple times a year. Um, are you still using um, wipes or or old methods to? treat them. I'm not an expert in this, so just so you know, I'm just kind of giving you a framework. Um, these methods have been proven by dermatologists to not only be ineffective, but also um, worsen the the pores of your skin. All right, so, you know, you get the idea. I'm not an expert here, but you really want to do a little bit of research, right? Every time you do this, you want to model what's working on their page, right? Put the benefits right here. And then the last section I want to put, show you is also this part. Um, sorry about that. So you want to do the shipping part. So note, shipping, uh, due to high demand, shipping usually takes between two to three weeks, depending on your location. And then lastly, um, just going to put a trust badge so you can either put it on the bottom or at the at the top if you have an app then you can put it on the top under the the pricing um, if not you know I've done a lot of sales where you know we can just do a trust badge you can also get an app for a trust badge um, I'm just saving you money honestly so let's just go with this one so we're going to go ahead and save this oops all right we don't need any of this anymore so we're going to go as save as, and we're going to go trust edge. Boom. We're going to add the trust badge onto the, onto the bottom. All right, so let's just do it in Shopify because on overload, it's kind of weird. Um, variants, so we can do the pricing. So you can change all the prices at once. So I'm just going to say 19.99, and then um, since I've done this so many times, I do personally 60% off for most of the products that I'm advertising. I don't put I don't put like 60% off off everything because you know it doesn't make sense if. If, if you go onto a store and everything's on discount, you're like, why is everything on discount? So only discount the things you advertise. And images, again, don't select any of these. You don't want to select them like that, right? So, um, and then import to your store. All right, so it's loading. So now that you have it imported, right, we can edit it on Shopify. Close out these tabs. So, what I want to stress again, like I've said before, 
is the fact that you want to model success of winning um, stores, right? You want to model success. And how do you model success is you want to model what they're doing on their product page, right? Look at how they structure their product page. This product page is so good. Like I'm impressed by myself, right? Like their images are clean, right? They've got an amazing title, right? They've got, they've got this um, timer right here. What else do they have? The color matches, right? It's pink and it matches with the overall theme, right? Um, they've got uh, little images or videos here, right? So it, it takes a lot of time that we don't have in this video. You know, it's going to take me like a good 45 minutes, right? A video review. Look at that. And they have a video review with like their, their little, um, you know, you can put your logo or something here. And then product reviews, right? So... You get the idea, but what I want to say is just model success as much as you can, right? Without having to copy everything, right? I know that you you're, the tendency is to copy everything, but I want you to just focus on, it's only going to benefit you if you model everything, right? Because there's going to be times where you aren't able to copy, and I want you to have the skill set so that you're able to know what works, right? So, all right, so now that we have that, Um, we're just going to add the images. Um, if if you choose AliExpress and they have like a um, they have a, a like a watermark or logo, make sure you you know edit or crop that out of the photos. And then. Um, you are almost done. Now the only thing we need to do is just add that trust badge. Oops, what happened here? So we're just gonna add that trust badge right here. look like I've added the trust patch. I'm so sorry. I thought I saved it, but I, I guess I didn't. So you really want to put time and effort, right? You really want to make your product page quality because that's going to determine whether you convert at a 1% for your traffic or you convert at a 5 6%, right? Like I said, half of it, you know, a percentage of sales is going to be just because your product is good, right? But a percentage is also going to be how you price your product. And then another percentage is going to be how good your product page is. And in my opinion, if you have a good product page, like I said before, you can charge higher prices, right? And so if you combine a good product with an amazing product page, like you're going to get sales 100%. And this is just going to be the last part here. Again, make sure you follow the apps and really understand how to set up your apps correctly because I, I really don't know where that trust badge went. Uh, oh, it's called Safe Checkout. I apologize. I actually haven't used a Mac in um, in a little while, which is why um, which is why I'm still getting used to using <laughs> this Mac right now. Um, and if you want to make this smaller, you can. You just double click it, and that is it. You let's just save it. Boom. And then let's let's go ahead and check it out, right? After. 
Um, one mistake that I made before is make sure you look at this inventory, right? Make sure that you know your your the supplier you choose has a good amount of inventory. Boom. And then let's go ahead and view it. So personally, I haven't really up the the theme yet. yet. So that's why it looks, you know, it doesn't look um, obviously like the theme isn't set because I wouldn't use this theme. I'd probably use like Brooklyn or something, but um, you see it doesn't look too bad, right? So um, that's the video. If you have any questions, go ahead and, um, you know, shoot me a DM and ask me and I'll see you guys in this next video, in the next video. I hope you found this one valuable because I felt like I really dropped some valuable uh, bombs on this one. All right, peace.